After the success I had uh, creating replacement Insignia logos for ATAT drivers and ATSD drivers, uh, another of the figures that I have in my Imperial Army collection uh, that suffers from uh, well Insignia loss is the uh, Star Destroyer Commander or uh, Death Squad Commander. Uh, this guy here is one that I've um, reconditioned um, and luckily you can see that his Insignia on his chest which is a blue line uh, with a red line below it uh, is still in place. But uh, a lot of my figures, like this guy here, um, that insignia is completely worn off. Uh, there's nothing left of it. It's just got a, a grey chest. Or the other sort of common way of getting it is that you just end up with uh, a blue line. I think this might be a variant anyway, uh, that you just have a blue line. But uh, this guy looks like he's got part of his insignia missing. So uh, I again went uh, and recreated the insignia in uh, Photoshop. And I bought myself some uh, sticky-backed clear plastic vinyl sheet so I was able to print uh, another set of sheets this is the same sheet as I'd done before with the uh, replacement uh, insignia for ATAT drivers and ATST drivers but I've added onto the bottom a small set of uh, the replacement insignia for the death score commanders you can see here so I'm going to go ahead and cut these out and uh, see what they look like once I've uh, stuck them onto the figures So here we have the cutout stickers. These are incredibly tiny now. Uh, I don't know if you can just about see that in my fingers. I'm going to use a pair of uh, very small tweezers here to uh, just tweezer off the backing uh, like so. There we have the logo. Uh, and I have a uh, normal uh, desk squad commander here so I can use that as a reference to see where to position the sticker. It looks like it just needs to go just about there on his chest. Stick that in place. And there we have it. So here we have the two figures. The guy on the right is the original uh, Death Squad commander with his insignia in place. Uh, the guy on the left is my replacement sticker. As you can see the blue has actually come out a little bit darker than I'd expected so maybe I need to go back to my uh, printing process and see if I can get that printed lighter. But the overall effect is actually still pretty good. It now looks like he does have a, an insignia in place. So uh, if I can just work out some of the printing issues I'll uh, try that again. But overall I'm actually pretty pleased with the result. It's better than having no insignia at all to have something that's just a little bit too dark. So again using a vinyl uh, sticky back printer paper you can uh, create some quite good uh, replacement decals for these figures. Uh, and you'd be hard pushed to even see that that was a sticker rather than something printed onto the figure. So uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>